Karen. I'm here to help you to lead a better life. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do that. Investing in real estate. In my previous video, I have talked about how to invest in real estate with very little money. Today, I'm going to talk about how to invest in real estate when you are buying a real physical property. Number one, get a mortgage in principle. Approach the bank and let them know you want to buy a property and they will evaluate how much they are willing to offer based on the LTV ratio. What is LTV ratio? It means loan to value ratio. That way you will have a better understanding and you can choose the right property based on your affordability. Normally the bank will lend you 90% LTV and you'll have to pay for 10% of down payment depending on the country you live in. But don't forget to include other expenses as well. You'll have to pay for the solicitor, you might have to pay some kind of taxes, council tax, depending on the country you live in. Again, so make sure you include that after you have got your mortgage in principal approval. So that way you can have an accurate calculation of how much you need to pay for the property and you can have a better financial planning and you can get your ideal property. Number two, do your research. Start viewing properties. Look for them anywhere you want to. Go to the property agent, view as many properties as possible, ask more questions, ask them which location where you can buy low, rent high, or buy low, sell high. That's the strategy you should adopt when you are investing in real estate. So never ever forget that. So ask questions, just go and view as many properties as possible within your budget because you already know how much you need to spend on a property because you have the in principle approval and you know where you should buy your property at. Number three, save on the commission that you have to pay the property agent. That's crucial. How can you do that? Go to the internet where the landlord is directly listed the property and you can buy directly from the landlord. That way you can save the commission you have to pay the property agent because that's part of the money that will go out from your pocket. So you want to save as far as possible so that you can have more money and more cash flow. Cash flow is an important thing that you want as well, right? Also, try to make sure that you are actually dealing directly with the landlord. That way, your commission that you need to pay will be lower and your price of the property will be lower as well. If it's lower than market value, chances are when you sell it, you gain more money because you gain money on value appreciation. And if you go through the property agent, chances are the price of the property will be higher because the commission is based on the price of the property. So the discount that you get on the property price will be much lower because the property agent wants to get a higher profit margin in terms of the commission that they will get from the price of the property. Number four, buy a property with the right direction. If you live in a cold place, you want more sunshine. Then you want to buy a property which is facing east or west. But if you live in a hot place, you want to buy a property which is facing north or south. That way you will not feel that hot. But these properties, they'll be more expensive because everybody would want to buy them. But if you adopt my strategy, which I told you previously, find a landlord which is able to list it and sell it to you directly. You can make more money when you sell it off in the future in terms of value appreciation. Number five. Once you know which property you want to purchase, you'll have to pay 10% of the price of the property to secure the unit. But if you're not so confident that you want to buy that particular unit, you can request to pay a reservation fee. That way, your apartment will be locked and they won't be showing it to anyone else. Reservation fee is about £2,000, it's not that much. But if you pay 10% of the price of the property, that will be quite a lot. And when you want to turn back, it will be pretty hard. So just make sure you really want to buy that unit before you pay that 10% of the purchase price. Number six, financing. Once you have paid the 10% initial deposit, you'll have to go to different banks and find the best interest rate for your mortgage loan. So the lower, the better. On top of low interest rate, some banks provide extra benefits. They might give you a cash rebate, some extra cash initiative. Look for banks which are giving you that type of benefit. Next step will be contact the solicitor. He will help you to handle all of the paperwork, get your title deeds from the bank and handle all of the mortgage issues. You will have to pay the solicitor. That's one of the costs on top of the price of the property. 
It takes normally three months from the initial deposit to the mortgage drawdown date. That's when the property belongs to you. So you can actually start once you know the mortgage drawdown date. You can actually start looking for tenants to rent your apartment if you intend to rent it. Here's a little trick how to find a tenant which is able to pay a higher price to rent your apartment. If you don't mind, try to rent it to people who are willing to rent for a shorter period of time. There are a lot of landlords who are not willing to rent it to people who actually just want to rent for a shorter period of time. So they have limited options and they might want to work and live in a good location. So if you're willing to rent it to them, chances are you can charge them a higher price and they wouldn't mind because there are no other options for them. The interest rate is really low right now due to COVID-19. It's actually a good time to invest in real estate. Start with the mortgage in principle. I wish this video have helped you a lot. Make sure to comment in the section below if you have any questions, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, goodbye.